Welcome to this tutorial on Protease 8 software for simulating the microcontroller based circuits and systems. So today we are going to simulate the circuit as shown in the figure which is having microcontroller. This is actually a cropped view of the circuit. It is having a microcontroller and 8 LEDs are interfaced to the port 1 of microcontroller. This is a 8051 family microcontroller and there are resistors connected in between diode uh, LED and the port pin of uh, microcontroller IC and we also have a supply voltage connected uh, to the anode of the LEDs this supply voltage is of 5 volts so we are going to build this circuit in Protease software so I'll switch over to the Protease software so this is the layout of Protease software in this you have to select the component mode and after selecting that component mode you have to click on this p for pick the device once you click on that another window will open and here you have to type the uh, name of the microcontroller that you are using so i have used used 8089 c51 microcontroller so i can double click on this i can add that to the library after that i need one resistor so again i can type res which will select a generic resistor so if i double click on this again it will get added to my list of devices after that i have to type uh, i have to take the led so i will take animated led so there are a lot of leds available you can select any led as per your requirement i will select this yellow led so i have to double click on this it will get added to the list of devices now we can start building the circuit so first of all i will take the microcontroller ic i have to place it within this blue border okay i will just zoom it and now i will use take one resistor connect it to one of the port pin this resistor value can be changed just by double clicking on this so as per the calculations uh, you have to select this value i will select it as uh, 470 ohms and just click on ok after that i will need one led so i have to connect the led to the resistor so again i have to rotate this led anti-clockwise so that the cathode side will be towards the resistor so I can click on this I can drag it anywhere after placing that LED I can go to the cathode terminal and click there a wire will be generated from that terminal and I have to end it on the terminal of resistor after that I have to select the power supply that can be selected from this generator mode so after clicking on this you will get this DC this is nothing but the DC power supply that you can connect so after you click on this the symbol will appear here now you have to place that supply here and just connect this using a wire to the LED now the supply voltage must be 5 volts so to edit that you have to double click on this and you can select here the voltage so i'll select 5 volts and click on ok so similarly you can uh, build the circuit for the remaining 8 leds i'll just show for one led same thing can be done for all the remaining leds so now uh, we have to write a program for blinking or flashing the leds so for writing the program you can use uh, keel microgen 4 software uh, i have also used the same software so i have written this program i have built this program and after doing that we have to generate a hex file and that hex file we have to again put it in this ic right so after creating that hex file just double click on this ic in that again we have a program file so there is a folder symbol available here so click on this folder now here we have to browse the hex file so uh, the, you have to go to the location 
of the program where uh, you have uh, created that hex file so now here uh, this is the folder where i have created that hex file this is that hex file so you have to select this hex file and click on open and after that you can click on ok so once you do that now your program is ready to simulate or this circuit is ready to simulate so for simulating you can directly click on this play or run button so once you click on that your led will start blinking so this is how you can perform simulation using the uh, protease software thank you for watching the video